Hi everyone, it's Civil Engineering Tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use dimmed edit command in AutoCAD. To watch all the videos on this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get regular updates from Civil Engineering Tutorials. Also, like this video in case you find it helpful. So, let's get started. The dimmed edit command means dimension text edit command means you can edit the text which is in dimension line by using dimmed edit command. So here I'll show you how to use this dimmed edit command with examples. So let's get started. So first I'll draw a rectangle here. Dimension 20 feet. Now 30 feet. Enter. Now this side dimension 20 feet and this side dimension 30 feet. Now here I'll use dimmed edit command here. So for dimmed edit command give dimmed edit dimmed edit command you can see here. Now press enter. Now select dimension is asking select dimension line select the dimension here now here you can see you can slide the text to left right side also you can place it in free hand at any point you can place it in free hand at any point you can see here again you can place it here on this side you can place it here But here we will use team edit command to move and rotate dimension text and relocate the dimension line. So give dim edit command. I'll undo this. Dim edit command. Now select dimension is asking to select dimension. So select dimension. Now it's asking specify new location for dimension text. Or we have these options left, right, center, home and angle. So first I'll select left. So select left. Click on left or specify L. Now you can see here. It justifies the dimension text along the dimension line and it is on left side. Now, our dimension text is on left side. You can see here. Again, the dimmed edit. Now, select the dimension. I'll click right. You can see here now. It is on right side. Okay. You can see here. Now it also justifies the dimension text along the dimension line. It is on the dimension line but in right side. Again give command dim edit command. Now select dimension. Select center. Click on center. Here dimension text is on center point of dimension line. You can see here dimension text is on center point of the dimension line. You can see here this is on center point now again dim edit command select now home click on home. Home means it moves the dimension text back to its default position. Suppose I will give this to left now. Now again give dim edit command. Now give home. Now see. Now it's an it's default position means left side. You can see here. Dim edit select move to right. 
this is a right side select home this is a right side means dimension text is a center point on center but in home it moves to dimension text back to its default position. Now it's a center point. It moves to its default position. Now dim text. Now last angle. Click on angle. Now specify angle for dimension text. We need to specify the angle. So it changes the angle of the dimension text. Center point of the text doesn't change here. If the text moves or the dimension is regenerated, the orientation set by the text angle is retained. So here I need to specify the angle of the text, suppose 45 degree. Now you can see. This is 45 degree. Now the text angle is measured. From the x axis of the UCS. This is 45 degree angle. You can see here. Text angle is measured from the x axis of the UCS. Now, dim edit command select. Now, angle again. I specify the angle. 30 degree. Now see. It's 30 degree now. So if. If you give the angle of 0. Then. The text. Will come to its default orientation. Select. Angle. If we will give 0. Then it will return to its default orientation. If you 0, now you can see here. So entering an angle of 0 degree puts the text in its default orientation. You can see here. So like this. You can use dim edit command. So you can. Same time you can edit this side. Right, center, home, angle, you can switch the angle, 30 degree, the same type, you can do in any dimension line. Dimension text edit command. So like this you can use dim edit command. So if you like this video and if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.